I'm struggling right along with you. I went from teaching 12 classes a week to four and a half, but my appetite is the same and I've been eating food to cope. I just saw myself on a video. I hate how I look. I've let myself get fluffy and I've had to start wearing my bigger clothes and it's just not acceptable. I will not let this make me undo all of my hard work. <laughs> so if you're struggling, know you're not alone. I'm feeling depressed and sad, but we can't let it beat us. So stay strong. Now, I'm sure many of you can relate to Heather as you try to navigate this new normal. So Heather is joining us from her home in Texas. So Heather, welcome. Tell me what's going on with you emotionally that's causing you to turn to food. I'm a group fitness instructor for a reason. I like to be around people and uh, I'm very much an extrovert. So um, being basically isolated from my students and my family and friends, it's taken a toll on you know me emotionally. And um, my appetite has not changed. I was teaching 14 classes a week. So that's 14 hours of working out every week. And now my activity level is less, but my appetite hasn't decreased. So um, it's been very difficult to put the emotional effort into controlling my urge to eat when it's already going to so many other places, like dealing with being isolated and not being able to teach my classes, which was my happy thing. Yeah. So what triggers you to eat? Is it boredom? Is it anxiety? Is it just seeing food? What, why, why food instead of alcohol or TV bingings? Why, why food instead of something else? Food and I have always had this love-hate relationship. I like to tell people I have a fat girl living inside of me, Fat Heather, that's her name. And um, the comfort of eating has always been a thing. And, you know, I've struggled with my weight almost my whole life. So I think it's just resorting back to these old habits to feel better rather than the working out and the doing my classes, which was kind of my filler. And have you gotten what you call depressed since this has all started because you are an extrovert and can't be now? You were teaching classes and interacting a lot and can't be now. Has that resulted in what you call depression? I would say it definitely has brought my mood down quite a bit. Um, I teach Zumba classes, and so every class is like a party. So to not have that and not be able to interact with my students who I get energy from and who I am you know, refreshed by their presence has been very draining. I've lost income, so that's weighing on me as well. And then taking care of my children, I'm having to do the single parent thing for right now, and so that's another layer so I think there's just multi-layers of things that are contributing to me simply like I'm alone I'm going through this by myself I have nothing to you know boost me up and so I think that's maybe a feeling of depression yeah okay well let me ask you 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 teach 14 classes so you've got a lot of clients that rely on you to do this and now they're stuck at home and they're going through the same thing you are, which is to default to food because it, A, never rejects you, B, makes you feel good because it changes your body and all the blood goes to your digestive system and makes you feel warm inside and all of that. So they're going through what you're going through. So what's your advice to them? Uh, well, something I'm, I actually, what triggered me to make that video is to see myself um, on an online class. I'm teaching online classes. And uh, it was a bit of a wake up call for me that, wow, I let myself get fluffy. That's what I said in the video. I let myself get fluffy. So I think if people are to like really step back and look and see what they're doing now has some repercussions down the road. Like how hard are you going to have to work to get those pounds off Heather? 